Always blows my mind how trees can grow so much in two weeks when they're dead. Just gonna make a little dent today. With my stick saw, I pulled out what I could. Now it's time to climb. So I went up and I kind of forgot to hit record. I tried to peel that limb down enough to land in the trailer and it just caught the edge of the trailer and shot out in the middle of the street. So I had to come flying down and clean that up. Heading back up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to come through this crotch climb back up, so I'm gonna undo this real quick. Second time, let's see if I can not do it a third. That's beautiful wood. Wow, shame. See how much I can pull this one to the right. Not really because I need to, but because it's based on what that does. I'm gonna pull this one to the right. But it's right over my truck, so we'll see. Yesterday because it rained all day, but today we're back for day two on this oak.
Alright. Yep. tied on to the end of my climb line so I'm not always going to go up and down. You know, this process would be a whole lot easier if this fucking Bluetooth piece of shit would actually work. I tested it here at the tree and turned both cameras on. And then I freaking get out there, I'm ready to cut, and it doesn't want to turn you on. Waste of 70 bucks. to the next rope. That's both ends of that one. Be nice if I could just turn you off by hitting a button on my wrist or you know something nice like that. Now it wants to work. Thankfully. Shouldn't have said anything now I'm jinxed it though. figure out what I'm doing next. Job. 
here I was like talking to this camera the whole time and making cuts and everything and oh my wrist thing decided it doesn't want to work again so you weren't on I just found out before my last cut a little branch from like my very first cut went over and knocked over my camera so I've been recording nothing but ground or sky this whole time yay I wasn't really planning on heading down but I'm gonna go ahead and head down clean up and get another camera righted good footage you got there bud I love this saw. This thing's stock, only about two tanks through it. It cuts so nice. Yeah, awesome. Love this thing. So I was planning on heading back up and getting some more today once I'm done raking. Which, holy shit, is taking forever. But then I saw that. And according to the radar, we're about to get uh, poured on in about 15-20 minutes so hold up on Reagan for the moment go up grab my gear because uh, it's not retrievable and uh, see if I can get this cleaned up before we get hit I'm so close just hold up like five more minutes I gotta finish the job tomorrow Saturday because it's supposed to storm all day Sunday and this house is actually being closed on this tree being down is one of the conditions of the deal so it'll be a little wet tomorrow I'm thinking but it's not supposed to rain it's just supposed to rain tonight have a good one humans oh and Keith will be with us tomorrow so that's cool because I can't rig down trunk sections by myself, and this is too big just to take over. Thanks, Keith. All right, so the rain has held off for the moment, at least long enough to, for me to get the road and the driveway or the sidewalk kind of cleaned up. I'll have to finish raking everything tomorrow. It's like it's like teasing me. I want to keep going because it's not raining yet, but the it's almost here. I don't know how far you think I can push it. I guess we'll find out. I'll let you know. Now it's acting like it's not going to rain. That battery's about to die, so I hope it does. Have a good one, you. text from Keith, apparently he's working tomorrow, so kind of left scrambling for a groundsman because I can't rig down trunk sections by myself. Or can I? Hmm. I don't think so. And I don't think I'm going to try because that's too fucking dangerous. Well, have a good one, humans.